Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I know guys, it's halfway through August. Something really unforeseen happened and I am kind of in the middle of something but very much inclined towards finishing my monthlies even though half the month is gone. All right, Capricorns, monthly map is looking at the whole month through a wider lens, seeing how the energies are flowing and especially how they are interacting with each other. All right, let us go and see from where we beginning. Four of Earth, grounding ourselves. I hear collecting the debris. Collecting the debris. Okay, what are we doing? Collecting the debris and then figuring out where to head to. What next to do. Hmm. Feels quite heavy. Well, times changing energies are shifting. You are very much on your own at this point in time. Very isolatory energy that I feel. Look, Hermit, again, isolation. It is either energetically that you are isolating yourself or you are literally pulling yourself out, locking yourself behind the door, trying to figure things out. Yeah, this is very, very lone wolf energy. Eight of fire. That is communication coming in, new energies coming in. Probably helping you figure out this whatever energy is that is somehow making you feel lonely. I have somehow have this feeling that it's not just you isolating yourself physically but you feel lonely and you do not want others to know that you're feeling lonely so you are being that lone wolf whatever no that's not by choice somehow i feel that is not by choice yeah five of air there is a certain conflict going on around you and you're trying to figure things out it's a delicate situation to be in and in some ways you are also figuring out other people's intentions so you are kind of distant kind of pulled back king of earth just trying to figure things out absorb and observe what's going on because there's something definitely going on there is a shift in the energy and we don't really know what to do about this look king and queen of earth this is all about stabilizing yourself three of fire three of fire is all set to sail i'm telling you there is this sense of you know movement but not just yet not just yet three of earth because you are trying to still figure things out page of air and maybe looking for some much needed clarity truth what is the overall ten of air look this is that heaviness that i'm talking about there is some kind of heaviness that we are feeling this whatever collecting the debris that i heard is not a nice feeling it's like you know the trail of destruction that you see 
after the battle is over in the battlefield that's the scene that I see you're trying to really gather yourself before you move ahead and somehow evaluate the entire situation and it is an intense situation whatever this energy is feels extremely heavy and intense let us clarify people four of earth spirit why do we have the four of earth to start with the energy of four of earth look as i said there is a shift there is a need to move but you are right now just gathering and evaluating all that is needed because it seems you are at the crossroads and certain clarity is needed for you to move forward two of fire is seven of pentacles patience patience and perseverance is needed for you to take that call let's see that wheel of fortune what is this energy shift that's happening look talking about the battlefield this is the aftermath the battlefield there are soldiers down defeated there is just destruction that trail a lot of learning a lot of learning coming in five of swords five of swords twice here this is a learning curve this could be a conflict between you and someone who's very close to you romantically or otherwise lovers is a very intense energy very aligned energy and there is conflict there and probably kids involved too and now i see this nine of pentacles and it's a very isolatory very independent energy this could be for somebody actually moving out of a marriage nine of cups and probably for the best it seems nine nine and the hermit is also nine 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 please look into that number there is a message for you there four of earth we have the four of earth with the ten of swords this whole battlefield war zone aftermath is coming again and again ten of swords again down to the ground the soldier has been hit multiple times and now you're trying to gather whatever you could and figure out what happened why it happened five of air spirit six of cups this is a karmic connection with this lover whosoever's energy is this jesus the way things are flying around moon loads of intense emotions involved and fire as well there's this very arrogant energy that i feel i don't know whether it's yours or someone else's but in this conflict somebody is putting up an arrogant side of theirs in the forefront not necessarily that is their true side but they are trying to hide their emotions they are in this conflict eight of fire what is this information what is this communication energy coming in nine of pentacles showing twice this is you saying i'm on my way i am on my way with the queen and king of earth coming in this is one of the most stable one of the most responsible one of the most in tune aligned couple and it doesn't look like that we are in tune what is going on queen of earth there is this undercurrent really really weird undercurrent that i feel this could be happening under covers maybe 
to the world you guys are pretending everything is fine all is good but the undercurrent is insane so freaking intense queen of earth spirit please clarify queen of earth here this is very much your energy six of wands you are moving ahead with your own think whatever you have in your mind you are making a move on your own and king of swords see this is what i'm saying there is this sense of aloofness there is this sense of arrogance there is this sense of you know coldness which is so unlike this king of earth he's a family man but it doesn't look like at this point in time this family man is excluding that energy of a family man this family man is being very very cold whosoever's energy is this this could be yours very much so the masculine the feminine all energy is a part of our beings so whether it is the queen of earth here that you can relate to the feminine or the masculine energy the, the king of earth that you can relate to either or you guys are on some different trip altogether you are like i'm doing me i don't care about your emotions clearly you're trying to protect your own heart what is this three of fire seven of swords moving away from deception moving away from backstabbing moving away from some kind of energy that is very negative feels very negative three of earth spirit yeah you are moving three of wands here as i said there is a sense of moving the energies are going to change there is change in the air with that chariot and wheel of fortune and with three of wands three of earth and three of fire three 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 again by the way and you have nine 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 so please do look into these angel numbers this is all about you moving towards a karmic journey that seems like you have to do on your own there is no partner in crime for you in this there is no buddy for you on this particular journey and that is coming along with a lot of knowing yourself with a lot of clarity of what you want not necessarily a one that elevates you per se but is going to help you realize what for you are here in the future eventually doesn't feel nice right now page oof. eight of wands again this energy coming in of i'm on my way on my own yeah slowly but definitely this energy of i'm moving away look talk about moving away eight of cups is here i'm moving away from whatever this heavy energy is that i need to let go and i'm on my own capricorns for some i truly feel this is about separation now whether you are actually you know signing on the dotted lines or you are energetically pulling yourself away from somebody that is for you to decide but it really feels like you guys are being very much on your own let us get you a final word from the yogic path oracle deck to wrap up this very intense reading rather heavy on my own i don't need anybody i don't care what happened i'm gonna let go enough of this war zone i am just done pretending yeah oh yes i'm gonna read it as it came reverse there's something we need to do we need to look into we need to introspect let us see what that is oh just in the reverse 
Has your personal health taken a backseat to others' matters? This must change. The only way you can truly care for others is if you've taken care of yourself first. You must put on your own air mask before you can attend to the needs of others. Your mask first. Make time for sleep, cooking, meditating and yoga. Though you may feel that you don't have the time for these things, the truth is you won't have much time without them. It is time to make time for yourself. That is the reason this isolatory lone wolf energy is there. But it's not coming from a sense of self-worth or self-care. It is coming from disappointment. I guess that is what we need to flip and on that note, my Capricorns, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.